How's going on, Luke here? I definitely didn't think I was going to be making this video. Now, it was only a couple of years ago, I was doing a video talking about Des Hasler getting sacked by the Bulldogs, Bulldog supporter. I supported at the time. I still somewhat do. We haven't really replaced Des Hasler since then. Hopefully, Serrata is the man. But the reason for making this video is because he's been sacked by the Manly Ringer Seagulls. I feel like absolutely nobody saw this coming as the season went on. Now, obviously, I feel like a big talking point is going to be the, the whole Pride jersey. Um scenario, saga, whatever you want to call it, uh, where him and Cherry Evans had to front the media for something that wasn't really their fault. And I think that was a big problem with Hasler and Manly and their fallout. Pretty, I think that's pretty much it because results-wise, they haven't really been too bad. I mean, considering from when he took over to where they are now, you had Tom Jaboyevich in, into that side and they're definitely a top eight side. And some would even say a top four side depending uh, how it's refed. I mean, we saw last year they nearly won the whole bloody comp. Um, and that was in a position where I thought they were going to come, you know, like bottom four or whatever. So then to fast forward to now and he's already been sacked. So it definitely doesn't indicate that it's results driven. Obviously, Hazler's on a big paycheck. Manly are tight asses. That's the best way to put it. Um, and he's looking to probably get more money out of them. So... I can see why they would sort of be annoyed, but to go ahead and sack him, that just seems crazy to me, um, especially with his relationship with all the players. I've heard a lot of Bulldogs um, players talk about their relationship with Dez and how he's such like a you know good person to have around the club and he looks out for you, all this sort of stuff. So I can see there being a big backlash um, in terms of players wanting to leave. There's already talk about the Trebojevic brothers sort of being fed up with Manly. And, and why would you? If you're Tom Trebojevic, you're Jake Trebojevic, even Ben Trebojevic, any of like the long-term guys, your, your Cherry Evans and such, yes, you can get paid a lot, but you can go elsewhere. They can go play for the Dolphins and get paid squillions. They don't have to deal with any of this shit. They don't have to deal with the team that's going to be somewhat mediocre. I mean, the guy that they're bringing in, Seabolt, want to talk about results. What results has he got? He took over from Wayne Bennett and took the exact same roster, got them to the exact same position, uh, which makes sense because it's the exact same roster. Didn't really have to do much. Then he went to a new side in the Broncos. He had a fairly decent roster to work with. Um, a lot of good players, a lot of the same players they have right now. And, you know, we talk about Kevin Mulder's not being that good of a coach, but he had them in the top four. Um, it's adding really Adam Reynolds, who he had at the Ra uh, Rabbitohs as well, I should mention. But Seabold went up there with a lot of fanfare and ultimately failed. He was sacked. He sacked very, very quickly on big money. Um, a lot of rumors circulating around. I kind of watched uh, like the YKTR um, one with the scope and, and Willie Mason. And they were sort of talking about that and, um, just talking about like the rumors and how there's a lot more than what we haven't even heard and like it pretty much kind of happened So if you're unaware of the rumors with Seabold Just go and google Anthony Seabold when he had the falling out with the Broncos and got sacked It's a lot of stuff with the players and all that stuff. I won't get into it But the guy doesn't seem to be the best off the field Doesn't have the results on the field yet Manly are so adamant that he's going to be better than Des Hasler Like this doesn't make sense at least when Hasler got sacked by the Bulldogs there was like a, a decline in the style of play. Fans are very unhappy. I haven't really, I haven't seen like one Manly fan who's like, yes, Hazel's gone. I can't believe it. Everyone is literally like Manly have lost the plot. Penn's lost the plot. They're ruining the club. And that seems to be the general sort of consensus of this is that Manly are going to shit. Like they really have. They, I, I don't even know what is happening at Manly. I don't know what is going to happen going forward. I mean, in the past couple of weeks, like we've got the World Cup coming up, but we're talking about Manly um, in, in the lead up to the grand final. We had Marley Tepau coming out and saying he could have been playing for the Eels, but he got denied. Like, there's, like, so much infight, and there always isn't Manly, but there's always been a couple, uh, I don't know, like, the, the players were good enough to sort of just band together no matter what was happening off the field. But it feels like, at the moment, it just feels like this isn't going to be the case going forward. Um, Desi's gone. I feel like a lot of that camaraderie is going to be gone. I mean, there's talks about Ruben Gary possibly leaving. Um... I think we're going to see a lot of players leaving. I mean, a lot of talk about Schuster. He promised the number six. He's going to get the number six. Kieran Foran's already left, so everything suggests he would. But play-wise, hasn't been that good, especially this past year. So, um, I don't know. I really don't know what is happening at Manly. And for them to be even looking at Seabold, let alone basically already saying that they're putting him on, I think that is crazy. Like, find a Rabbitohs, or maybe the Rabbitohs fans might say something. Although he left in controversial um, fashion, so they're not going to like him for that. Then he went to the Broncos and shit the bed. So Broncos fans probably don't have anything good to say. Then you just look at the record itself. So as it kind of reminds me of like Trent Barrett signing with the Bulldogs. Like everyone's like, geez, Trent Barrett's getting another go? Like that's how I feel about Seabold. They're like, damn, he's getting another go at a club so soon? Like that's crazy. And it's funny that Manly have had both of these guys. They had Trent Barrett. Now they got Seabold. Um, you know, as much as Manly have been good in the past... 
I won't be disappointed if they find themselves down the bottom of the ladder. Like, you dug yourself a hole here, um, Manly, and more so the Penn family. Dug yourself a hole here. You've appointed a coach that I don't think is very good, and you got rid of a guy who's literally a legend of your club. You know, your last premiership was one under him. He's been to another club. He's gone back. This is the closest you got to a premiership since he left, essentially. Um, I just... Uh, I'm dumbfounded. I'm lost for words. I don't really know exactly what to say, and I feel like a lot of Manly fans probably say the same thing, and the fact that they probably don't have a lot to say. Because, um, like like I said, it kind of came from nowhere, but also didn't come from nowhere, because like a, a lot of the the whole thing with the Pride um, jersey, I feel like that's where a lot of it stems from. But as to why they thought Des Hasler and Cherry Evans needed to front the media themselves, like I just I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it, and I don't get their decision now. And... Um, Manly, that's the best way to put it, just, what are you doing, what are you doing, anyways guys, that was just my quick thoughts on this, I saw something like this, and I was like, I need to talk about it, Des Hasler is such a big figure in the game, uh, any team that kind of gets him, like, I'm looking at teams like the Knights, Titans, um, any of those ones who are sort of, I'm in an iron about whether they need to get rid of their coach, even like a Dragons, possibly, I would have a look at Des Hasler, definitely have a look at him, he's got a big paycheck, but I think he could work some wonders with some of those guys, um, but yeah, I don't know whether they want to go for it. He does have a little bit of controversy himself, Desi. Um, and you know, he had one good season, really. He's had a couple of good seasons with, uh, with Manly, but the one real outstanding year in Tundra Boy, which is very, very good. But just even in terms of this year, like at times with the roster that they had, they've looked pretty darn good for a team that has Lachlan Croker playing hooker. They've looked pretty good. So I don't know, Manly, I really, I don't understand Seabold. Like, if you're going to get rid of him, at least have someone in line um, that's half decent. But, yeah. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Des Hasler being sacked by Manly. Do you think it's a good move? Do you think it's a bad move? Personally, as you can tell by the video, I think it's a bad move. But let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on it. Uh, if you happen to enjoy this video, make sure, you go, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to use the notification bell. Don't lie in the sub boxes. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook's Mr. Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat, including TikTok, it's Mr. Luke and YT. So go ahead, give me a follow, give me an ad, and stay tuned for more content on the channel. We've got the World Cup coming up. That's what the next video was going to be about. It's going to be about, about my predictions for the World Cup, but. Couldn't predict this one. Couldn't predict Hazler getting sacked today. So um, there you go. That's today's video done and dusted. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you in the next one. See you.